Greetings, uh, everyone. I want to show you this very interesting uh, oil burner that's capable of burning. You see this block engine oil? You can burn that oil really, really clean, and that's the vegetable oil. And of course, that's no problem. That burns really nice. Well, now when you burn this, when you burn this block engine oil, burns really well except uh, there's a little bit of chemical smell to it but no fumes none whatsoever let me put this camera on this board here and then start it so you can see how this thing works uh, let me stabilize this camera here so that my hands will be free uh, adjust a little bit okay that looks good that looks good. So I'm going to start um, start it with using propane, and later on I'll turn it off. Okay, here's the propane. There's no air at the moment, and this is what happens when I turn it turn on the air.
turn it off see there's no smoke none whatsoever because what happens when this thing turns off okay let me show you here okay this is this is the air air thing here air hose goes to this little pump see goes here 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 okay all right so this so when you turn off the air automatically see oil goes back there's no danger or anything like that so if you lose the flame on this thing there's no no danger because oil drips right back into the tank there is no oil pump nothing so this thing is really really safe to use it see the, the vinyl tubing start to melt because this is just the testing now if you want to use this for uh, like long-term operation this this um, copper tubings has to be I don't know maybe 10 inches 10 12 inches long uh, so that the your fuel line has to you know stays cold and this is the uh, propane injector like this goes right in there and you can always pull it off if you want to um, there it is goes into the propane tank and now if this thing run into a problem what happens is that there is no filter at the end of this tubing and and uh, it clocks the uh, nozzle and when the nozzle gets clocked all you have to do basically remove those four screws there one there's two and two underneath when you remove those the screws this four screws this the whole nozzle assembly comes off and this comes off t oh yeah no, no I take back and then once this comes off then you can remove this thing this nut here as well as the nozzle that it has one of this uh, this is one of the nozzles that I used in the past see that like end cap and I have several more here this is how they look so you remove this cap and you clean inside of this and also the tip of this thing to here right here the tip has to be cleaned up and then the, the burner is up and running again it's very easy to start and a very easy to turn off there's no fumes on whatsoever um, starting basically this has to be in there alright like that you turn on the propane Pro oh okay and then here I turn on the propane and then you gotta have some way of igniting it like this that's it and that's all there is to it and then next thing there's no air at the moment you turn on the air there's the switch and I wait here we go
sure enough is okay now. Yeah, it looks like it's warmed up now. Yeah, I'll pull the propane out. Yeah. Propane is out. it. Now it's gonna, oil is going to um, drain back into the tank again. You'll see it. Yeah. As safe as it can be. Once you turn this thing off and the oil goes right back. See, look, check that out. See? See draining back, draining back. So if you ever lose power, electric po uh, electrical power, basically there's no a danger with this thing oil all it's gonna do is just drain back into the tank it, it, it doesn't get any safer than, than this but as I said before this uh, the vinyl tubing is about to melt see right there so these uh, copper lines has to be longer and these fuel lines has to be better lines you know to in order to run this thing longer anyway that's the burner thank you for watching guys and shut the